episode four of No Money Spent is here, and uh, you see the top right hand corner, right? It's over three million. Y'all probably clicked on the video when I, because the title is probably gonna say something about I converted 75k trainings over three million coins. It wasn't cat, but you guys don't gotta believe me. This is what this video is about. I'm actually gonna show you how I did it, cause in my last video, No Money Spent, I told you guys how I was preparing, and the preparation paid off big time. So. Get some popcorn. Let's get on this journey. Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No one balling. Okay, now we're into my Twitch stream. So I was actually live streaming when Campus Yours dropped because I wanted to take advantage of everything. Now, in this clip you're seeing, I'm showcasing you the exact amount of training I have starting this. Now, I told you guys in my previous No Money Spent video, I was getting my training anywhere from 20 to 21, sometimes even 15 per. So this was only roughly about 1.5 million training that we had, right? Um, but obviously, like I said, I told you guys what my preparation is going to be. And as you can see, we had about 74,000 training that we had going into it. Now, this was one of the main reasons why I made coins. When we were sitting here on um, launch day, we noticed that this set was glitched. Now, if you see it right there, it says exchange 178 and 376 is the 77s, but it was glitched for like the first two hours where it was only 178 and 177. Boy, did we go in on that. You were able to make it for about 5K in these underclassmen 81s. As you can see here, I was lazy selling for 14K. So per everyone I was making, I was making around seven to eight K. That is a huge profit. Now here we decide to risk about 20 K training. Now be mindful of my upper right hand corner because upper right hand corner, I have 385,000, which is roughly what I started the video with. You're going to see this increase dramatically throughout the entirety of this video. So this is our first row here. So we get into the first row. Um, I didn't know what to spec, but we did end up getting an 87 Gary Zimmerman, which we actually ends up selling because he was a more expensive one. So our first row was pretty average. Um, we got some 80s. We got some 84s. Um, I didn't really know what to expect with the rolls, but at the end of the day, we had to try them out for ourselves. We couldn't take anyone's word as gospel for them, right? So we tried them for our surf. Um, I think we ended up only getting 187, actually two Nelson Angular in this row too. Um, so we decided to check how much training we got back. So as you guys know, we started with about 22K training. Um, I believe after going through and quick selling everything, we come back with like 17 and a half K. So we lost about 4.5K. Not a bad return on investment, but obviously not what we're looking for, right? And then we decided to do this. Get a gold players were so valuable because of that set being glitched. Only thing we needed to do was put a couple of high 78s, a couple of 76s, and we would make our coins back. Obviously, we end up pulling a Javon Hargraves 82 there, which was huge, sold for like 15K, 14K. And then we were still able to make a bunch of other 80s out of this. Now, when I tell you guys, I made about 120 to 130K off of these 80 glitch sets, it was crazy. This is me just showcasing the coins that I made. Obviously, I think that's the Gary Zimmerman selling, but you can see I was selling everything out of this ball, everything out of these rows, everything, everything. Now, this is where it gets crazy. As you can see, two packs again, and we get to LaVisca Chanel, the first 87. This first 10K of this second 20K I was rolling was fantastic. You see, we got another 87 in Carl Banks. Remember, that was only through 5K training. And then we get another 87 wheel shields through 10K training. Now, the rest of this training, in terms of what I was rolling for this roll, wasn't that big of a deal. But to get 387s in 10K was humongous. And like I told you guys, I was selling everything out of this pack. I was not making sets. There were some sets that I did end up making later because they were more expensive. I'm showcasing one here. Gary Zimmerman, he was selling for about 175K, which most of these are going for about 130, 140. So we're able to make a big profit there, yet lead there. And we do it a little bit later with Chase Young as well. Um, but I know you guys are probably thinking, truth, that ain't all you did to make coins. You know. I am the pack king for a reason, so I may have a little some uh, special added to this, but we decided to go in again with just 10K, just the simple 10K. Um, I just wanted to test our luck because that roll was so good and we had 10K. So I wanted to test our luck and see how we would do with just 10K. And uh, you can probably guess, because it was probably in the thumbnail or the title, how we did. Bear with me. It might get a little bit loud. W that's 33k automatically. So 180, 184, that's 47k made back already. 
<laughs> Chat. Talk to me. Yes, sir, Rebob. We pulled 90 overall, Ricky Williams. You know I had to let the Twitter Twitterverse know that we did it. Um, that was huge. That was absolutely huge. I think even without Ricky, we still make a bit of profit, but we don't make it as big as a profit as we get another 87 Emmanuel Ogba. And these 87s were lazy selling for 140K, like I told you earlier. Some were going less than that. But you can see up in the right-hand corner, we're up to 1.5 million. And I told you guys to pay attention to that upper right-hand corner because it's steadily increasing. All this stuff that I'm pulling is selling and selling and selling, right? Um, and this is just me showing what actually I put Ricky up for. I put him up for 880. Didn't know he was going to sell. He actually did sell. And he actually held his price up pretty well. But I had to take 800K and run. I did want to use him, but not for 800K. If he was like 500K, I would use him. But for 800K, I could not justify keeping that card as a no money spent player. Now, we all know how EA does us. They give us a taste. And then we come back in. And then we poop the bed. That's exactly what happened here. I should have left on top. Ricky, that Ricky roll should have been my last roll, but me being the Pack King and trying to pull more, I went back in and we took a big L. That's the reason why I think we didn't make more coins because of this last roll, but that's okay. You risk it for the biscuit. Now this this right here is me showcase, showcasing me doing a couple of other sets. I do Gary Zimmerman again, um, and I, I think I end up selling him for like 177 again, but then I also noticed Chase Young was a little bit more expensive too. So I end up going to do the Chase Young set here. So when I was doing this, I was being mindful of some of the 87s that were more expensive and some of the 87s that were less expensive. So if I was pulling, you know, 80s and 84s, most of the time I was just selling them off. Anything I pulled out of the pack, I was just selling it. But some 87s, for example, Chase Young and Gary Zimmerman were way above what the value was from a normal 87. So I was taking those and I was running with it in terms of the coins because it was being a W for me. Um, so we were absolutely doing that, which is an absolute W. And as you can see, we're up to 2.6 million. So Ricky definitely has sold. Um, and this is me right here showcasing me putting up Chase for about 180K um, and him selling. So that was a W. Um, overall, it was a huge morning for us um, as a no money spent player. Like I said, we're, we're beginning in the stream at 360, 385K. And to end, you'll see in the video at 2.7. But obviously, um, when we get back to the team, I will show you the upgrades we've made because we've made significant upgrades to the team as well, but we're still over 3 million. And this is just me closing out, showing that, putting up Gary Zimmerman for 177 um, or 173, 174, whatever it may be. So, And now we're back. And this is the squad. Y'all see, there is a lot, a lot of campus heroes here because I actually ended up doing the Michael Crabtree set once and I picked five. And then I actually did the Derek Johnson set again, and I sold Derek Johnson, and I picked another five. It was huge upgrades. If you followed me last year, I did the exact same thing with Campus Heroes. Um, the only reason I didn't upgrade Shaftley and Lane Johnson, I didn't feel like it would be much of an upgrade. Maybe something I explore. Still rocking with Trevor. We got Jay Jettis, obviously, in the last video. We picked up Crabtree. You've probably seen him by now. He's absolutely dominant. We got Jim Taylor for overall purposes. Doesn't really see the field, but just for overall. Um, we ended up picking Trayvon Morick. Now, I'm waiting because the competitive pass has been an absolute joke. And I don't know, I've, when the competitive pass came out, I was actually able to get Tariq Woolen, as you can see. But I actually got the level 17 before they fixed everything, and we won't get our rewards to next week. Which sucks, but we do got Tariq Woolen here. Um, if y'all want to take a look, if you hadn't seen him, he's a dog, especially on my team because of the strata card, strat card I have. He has 90 man and 86 zone. So he's locking up at 6'4", going crazy. Uh, we got Trayvon Morig, we got Junior Seau, again, for overall purposes. Carl Banks, again, for overall purposes. Chase Young is the best card from this drop. I said this when the cards were coming out, and Merlin also. Now, another thing I was able to do, I'm able to get Legends, Kim. Now, Legends are the same thing, and I don't know if you can see it because my face may be blocking it, but when you get up to Tier 8, which, excuse me, 40 out of 40, you get plus one speed. So I'm going to continue to build on that because promos in the future that release these cards, let's say Ultimate Kickoff, right? And we have Legends in that. They're going to get Legends, Kim. So I'm just going to continue to build and build that. And that's the chemistry we're probably going to work for moving forward is the Legends, Kim. But this is the team, 87 overall, no money spent, 3 million coins. Um, I know I've been promised you guys gameplay, but I want, like I said, I want to show you guys my journey when it comes to this no money spent thing. I don't want to just rush out 
and just pump out videos i want to show you guys every step of the way so i may only do one or two episodes a week i'm gonna try to get three or more but obviously getting clips and all that different stuff so hopefully you guys bear with me and y'all enjoy this format and me showing you my process as i'm going through with this um probably next time unless by the time you guys see in this legends are out i'm not picking away the legends um hopefully we're gonna invest again on saturday um, by the time you guys see this, it will be Saturday. We'll hopefully, probably by the time we do our next gameplay, our next no money spin, we'll probably be down to like one million because we heavy in investments. But hopefully, you guys can enjoy. Hopefully, you took advantage of the campus hero like I did and made a bunch of coolness. I'm out. Until next time, deuces.